Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wilder Myth and the tale of the Chosen of the Gilded Lily. We are here in Chapter 2 with a very large incursion of Morthagi currently storming their way to the south where they are ready to tear through the undefended lands that we have left behind and destroy the lives of the people that they find there as they carry on with their human sacrifices. The terrible, terrible horrific events that are needed in order to birth new Morthagi as they harvest the humans for their bones. That is extremely dark, that is extremely terrifying, and that is the extremely odd juxtaposition that we have against this new event that has occurred as our heroes continue to explore the land past the mountain pass, and uh, apparently are running into an event called Paradise, at a moment when death and doom and destruction like are literally a army or a couple armies marching towards us. Anyway. One evening, on the long road through Logriver Woods, Lilo! Lilo! Hmm, dee -hoo. Oh, she's so cute when she's cooking. Lilo, there you are! Come with me! Hurry! What's wrong, Juan? Did you find something scouting? There's no time! Come quick! Hurry! Oh, she ran as fast as she could. Slow down, Lon! Wait! <gasps> Surprise! Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, I imagine that Lon wants to show Lilo gorgeous things because they, they truly have had such a tragic life. And it seems like they've been so busy putting out the fires of the Morthogi's assaults and, and all of the political fighting and the brigadans that are roaming the land now that the petty king is dead and his kingdom has kind of dissolved into these small little villages just trying to defend themselves on their own. I imagine they haven't had time to really build a life beyond the battles. So taking a moment to appreciate this beauty is very important to them. Well, Lon, this... this is amazing. It seems like you've been carrying the weight of the party on your shoulders this entire journey. I wanted to help you lighten that load. He is very compassionate, after all. I can't believe you found this place. You always surprise me. Oh, Just a moment of paradise together. Is this a date? Wait, what?! You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and let this happen. I really wanted to leave things open for maybe Lilo and Nelmia to fall for each other, for maybe Lilo to find like some new hero. But I think that Lon, I mean, he's turning 40. I think he is 40 now. And I feel like, in fact, how old are these two now? Yeah, Lon has just turned 40, and I think he feels, like, time passing, and he feels himself getting older. And Lilo is 37, and she hasn't found anyone because she's been so focused on all these battles. And I think that Lon, when he sees her, he used to see the pain of what they've lost. The, the theater troupe they grew up with, the long history that their theater troupe had, the way that they they had a family. They had family and lineage. And I think for a long time, Lon just wanted to run away from it all and start new. But nothing ever felt as fulfilling as being able to be with the one person in the world who remembered what it was like before. And I think especially standing by Lilo's side and watching as she has faced down the tremendous tremendous challenges asked for her own growth to be able to become the mage that she has become i mean she didn't ask to have that magic thrust upon her by the great mystic who was trapped in the theater audience that night she just was chosen because she was a, a vessel that was proper for that magic and the great mystic was desperate to pass that magic on before the petty king could somehow extract it from her and i think that even though Lon is a coward, and for a long time, for half his life, he has wanted to run away from being a hero, I think this is the moment when he realizes that no one in the whole world lights him up the way that Lilo does. And he has risen to become a braver person because of her. And also, I think he realizes that he would move mountains for her. 
and that he has faced his fears for her and that even though it's a soft and quiet thing it's not a love that knocks him over like it doesn't it doesn't explode in his face it's i think a love for her that just begins to emerge whenever he sees a flower and wants to show it to her it's a gentle love where he realizes that he wants to find all of the kind and gentle things of the world and give them to her so yes if you want it to be i do want it to be Oh, Lon and Ly Lilo and Lon have fallen in love. I did not see that happening. But there we have it, friends. So in the wilderness of Lagerver Woods, on top of a mountain, these two have fallen in love just in time to go ahead and uh, rush over here, please. Uh, we need to hurry. We need to go ahead and continue our scouting. It turns out that nobody lives here in the forest. That's fine. That's fine because we've got places to be uh, since there apparently is a huge army that are just like coming into Sky Goblin Pines. So we need to go ahead and move our way down there. All right. Looks like we're pretty darn quick. Quick on our feet. Hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and fight them. We're now at Sky Goblin Pines. Um, this place, this place is infested. Bear Trunks is infested. Uh, another army is going to be here anytime. We have no defenses. I am a little nervous about this. Lon and Lilo have just fallen in love. They're getting older. Let's do this. Oh boy. I really hope I picked the right one. I don't think I picked the... In uh, I think I picked Assault and not the Incursion. Ah! That was supposed to be Intercept. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's keep going. All the sweltering stars. Our stars climb high tonight. Oh, are those ones ours? Always climbing around our little stars. It's a good omen. I wonder if Nomia does believe that heroes will become in the stars. What do you need omens for, love? Oh, and now, like, Aim is trying to be, like, really flirty and just really kind of push herself forward with Nomia. You know, long ago, an auger read the leaf patterns for me. Told me I'd fall for a poem-spinning woman. Woman, I believe omens now, much more than I used to. Um, you're surrounded by, le like, poem-spinning women. I don't need one, but I watch for them all the same. That's good if it gives you confidence. I just say don't trust omens over much. Oh, beautiful! I can't believe they're having all these deep discussions and like talking about love and the philosophy of life while these incursions are happening and they don't even know it because they just feel like they're just wandering through the woods and finding all these beautiful places right now. Wow. Reminds me of, can I still remember the story? Is this your sign? My guardians, my guides. Maybe I do wonder, does she see something I don't? Oh, who should I pick? Oh my gosh. You know what? I feel like Aim might try to go ahead and and impress impress them right now. Uh, let's go ahead and have Aim. A moment or two, Aim just gathers her thoughts. Then, a wandering man once taught me a tale and told me that it would please the stars for it belonged to them. All right. This is actually really cool because part of Aim's backstory, if you guys remember, is that all that she knows about magic wasn't properly taught to her. It was scavenged from all of the little bits of artifacts that were left behind from the mining community she lived in. And if you guys recall, the way she found out about the Chosen of the Gilded Lily and the wars and the Morthagi was because she actually listened to all of the bards. So that makes so much sense that she would learn all of these tales and sound super wise, even though she can hardly read. Uh, because she listened so carefully to all the stories. It was before, uh, amogul amogulation. Things weren't holy things. Our phantoms freely danced on the glass floor of space while our hearts pumped moonlight until it turned to salt. She speaks beauty worth believing, and her eye is what with the truth. Aim begins to spin a yarn. 
It's the tale of a starman who frolicked with shadowy queens and ice-crowned kings across 10,000 planets. He beguiled the astral dragon Luxacarir, and yes, yes, uh, yes, and helpfully he balanced the odd-sided entreaty of creation on the back of a migrant dust bear. Wow. With each revelation, the stars seem to grow and glisten. Sweltering, they swim together to shape a gownless man, and he strides and twirls through the cosmos. At the tale's end, as if to call his deeds well counted, the figure bows low, and a stone of his diamond-strung hair falls to earth, a gem whose clear core is captured star flame. Am, did you just unlock, like, bard magic? Like, or, or like, actually, I'm going to say, like, saga magic, like, storyteller magic. Is it real? It's warm. Aim has earned the favor of the stars. My jaw is on the floor right now. What? What does that mean? Aim! Like, what does it mean that you have the favor of the stars? Starheart, when Aim takes damage, she has a 30% chance to blind the attacker. <gasps> Look, she's wearing a cool star belt. What is this? And it also gives her plus 20 charisma. Swelter, star swelter, when Aim takes damage. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. Like, what is she wearing? Is, is there like a owl necklace, gravel, brooch of destiny? Like, I can't. That's so cool. Aim, jeez. Okay, that's really cool. All right. She's also super brave. Oh no, there's the butler thing. I really didn't want that butler thing. It's really nasty looking. All right. Well, Aim is also super brave. And so she's going to jump ahead. We're going to have her interfuse. She could do splinter blast. Ooh, with the rubble. She's a humanist, so she's actually touched better with the rubble. And she's just going to go straight for it. Yes! All right, she got the watchman right away. And then meanwhile, we're going to dive behind this tree because that's totally lawn. And then he's going to go ahead and shoot. Yes! Weaken that watchman. Excellent. Lila will jump up. And we'll have her interfuse with the stone. Myth meld, because it's a statue. Mystic gains one potency when interfusing with the statue. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Don't mind if I do then. We'll do discus. Yes! Oh, the butler blocked all of that. I don't like him. He looks really creepy. I think that, that he looks very bad, in my opinion. We're going to jump over here. And we're going to actually have... Now Mia tried to guard against him. Oh, it's a sommelier. And a welding. Sweep the floor? Drive link? Bone stitch? <gasps> I don't like the sound of that. Butler, you can just, like, die. I don't even know how I can make you die yet, but we're gonna try really hard. Wild grasp. Plant sends out tendrils that grabs and draws an enemy, dealing damage and pinning them. Alright, or you can do splinter blast. Five shred. Alright, let's try... Maybe this. And if I did Splinter Blast, I could get all three of them in this, which would be kind of nice. Let's try it. All right, one dodge, but the others are good. Lon, can you please shoot the heck out of this butler? Yes! He's poisoned and hobbled. I will take it. And meanwhile, aim. Shackles. Wild Grasp. Discus. We'll have her try Discus. Alright. Discus at the butler, please. Yes, I don't like him. Get rid of him. Alright, alright. We're doing a little damage around here. We could wind walk and actually take the butler out, I think. Mm. Naomiya would be super brave. She would do it. She would do it. In fact, she could probably... Can she do two attacks? Okay, I think she can only do one. But I think she'd do it. No, Mia! Be careful! Oh, and the welding dodged! Both of her attacks! But she took out the big, giant, scary thing! And she's she blocked... Oh, and she re-attacked the welding! No, Mia, you're amazing! She even blocked the sommelier! All right, that would actually totally, I think, inspire aim. She's going to be really reckless and run up. Achievement! Oh, we got an achievement. I didn't even get to see what it was because I was so excited. I wasn't paying attention. 
A stunning barrage. All right, we're gonna have... Aim's really risking it for the biscuit, but that's because she's just like overwhelmed with how cool Nalnia is and trying her hardest to like contribute. So we're gonna have her do stunning barrage. There we go. So she did that. And then we're gonna have Nalmia jump forward to protect Aim. All right. And I think they did good. And Aim is now star touched, which is so cool. I don't think that was absolutely not the incursion though. Ooh, Lon is actually upgraded now. Once per turn, Lon is refunded an action point after a melee kill. Upgrade to Barg, Bard, Swelter Song. Once per combat as a swift action, grant plus 50 stunt chance to allies within five tiles for one turn. He could also do Wind Walk or Long Reach, plus one range on all attacks and abilities. Um, I think we're gonna have Lon Maybe do long reach so that he can get even better with his his accuracy and his like hit hit hitting. Yes, we're gonna try that. And aim! Finally she has leveled up! Woo! Okay, so she can either do soul splitting. When aim takes damage, each interfused object, one point is prevented, and the object takes two damage compulsion. Aim briefly interfuses with an enemy and forces it to move where she pleases. <gasps> that sounds really cool! I like that idea that that has to do with her new star touched thing, too. Or we could do humanist upgrade. Um, Let's actually do compulsion, because that sounds really cool. And an ingenious necklace bonus damage of 0 .07, or 0 0.7. Um... Let's see. I think all of our other necklaces are potency. I think all of our other necklaces are pretty good, so we'll salvage it. There we go. And unfortunately, now all of our enemies are stronger. Fooey. And we still have to go ahead and intercept the Morthogi recruiters and try to destroy them. Or, in yeah. Hmm. Huh. Okay. All right. That's fine. I'm sure this is going to be fine. Let's just go ahead and dive right in and set this up, friends. We're intercepting them. Oh boy. This is good. They don't seem to know we're here. And we're here. How shall we destroy them? I'll blow this horn. We charge. Create a distraction and split their forces to draw them out. Start fires and exploit the confusion. Lilo, I like how you think. Let's try that. Oh, you poor, poor fools. Yay! Temporary damage bonus. What do we have here? Two butlers. The lots more foes. Mini spectics. Much bad. Okay, we can actually do some discussing. So let's start with that. Aim's getting really brave about this. Discus. How many things can I hit with this discus? Uh, if I aim for the butler, I feel like we can take out quite a bit. All right, let's aim for the butler. I really. He wasn't supposed to block it. Thank goodness. Okay, we got a little bit, a little bit going on in here. All right, let's jump over. Uh, we'll start interfusing with things. All right, what can I interfuse with? Let's get closer. Curses. All right, I'm gonna interfuse with this. Can we go ahead and discus it? All right, get rid of him. Yes. All right, the spectex dodged that, but we got one butler out of the way. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Uh, all right, meanwhile, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump forth and be a guardian. Guarding against foes. Like that. That's a foe. Also a foe. Still more foes. No, 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 no! Lilo! Okay, she dodged! Oh, jeez! All right, and now, like, aim. Okay, aim. You go ahead and interfuse with this, this piece right here. Fire leash. You go ahead and destroy him. He blocked it? You jerk of a spectic! Come on! You shouldn't be allowed to just block that! Alright. Thankfully, Elon was on it. I was able to go ahead and destroy that. Meanwhile, now Mia is going to jump around here. Boom! She and Lon are starting to get co like competitive. Lilo. Can she discus? She can actually discus that guy. Oh, good job, you guys. I'm so proud! Our little group is doing so well. Please continue to do so well. Especially because this is actually an incursion that's attacking us right now. 
Okay, the foe cards are, just became stronger. Um, no, Namiya, you weren't supposed to move. Why did you move, Namiya? All right, well, that means, you know, we're just gonna destroy that spectic. And meanwhile, Vaughn, if you could just casually shoot this butler. Okay, good. All right, butler's now dead. And meanwhile, I'm gonna have aim. Okay, she can discus him from behind. Yes! All right, these guys are doing good. All right, and I'm gonna have Lilo. We're gonna have her move up a little bit because I need to be able to attack more things. All right, there's a welding coming. There's a sommelier. All right, and we're gonna have... Now Mia actually gets shielding from being with a bunch of trees too. Aim's gonna jump up to join in everybody and try to do some attacking as well. Let's see, we'll have her... She's a little, a little bit of a sass, our aim is. She really wants to be able to impress everybody. So we'll have her toss her runes on both of those spots. And meanwhile, not to be left behind with all the fun, Vaughn, he he can't jump in and find a good spot, unfortunately. So we're gonna have him silk step, maybe over here to try to like get in and be like, what are you guys doing? All right. Meanwhile, Lilo interferes over here, and if you could just oh, she can actually discus from there. She's so strong. One sommelier down. All right, is it just this welding left? Because if so, we're really doing great. Oh no, it's not just the welding left. <laughs> it is not just the welding left. Lon, if you don't mind. All right. Yes! And then get the watchman. Yes! All right, doing good there, doing good there. And then meanwhile, can I get this welding from here? We can't get the welding from back here, but now Mia... Oh no, it dodged! Oh my gosh! Okay, that would absolutely make AIM, like, risk it for the biscuit a little bit. Um, okay. Compulsion. AIM briefly interfuses with an enemy and forces them to move where she pleases. Uh, alright. That's really cool, but it would actually end her turn. Alright, can we interfuse with... Shackles! Yes! Insidious filament. Foes that move adjacent to the scenery are stricken with kneeling points that apply to poisons or discus. Alright, let's do discus. All right, and then discus this fool. Get him. No, he dodged it too. Now Mia. What the heck? <gasps> what? Oh, this is not good. Lon, like everybody get out of there. Oh, you jerk. Okay, switch weapon. Freaking throw knife in your face. Oh, we did it, you guys. I'm so proud of them. I'm kind of, okay, I'm kind of hoping that A might become even more brave. And as that happens, we might get a chance to potentially, to potentially see her wounded, which sounds really bad, but now that she's star touched, I wonder if she turned into some sort of star person. That just sounds so cool. All right, do I want to use this speed for anything? Hmm. We already have necklace of rhythm. All right, we'll salvage it. Yeah, we did it, you guys! Unfortunately, the weldings are now going to become extra strong. Uh, however, I'm hoping... Can we actually investigate this area and secure it in time? Before the... Oh, nope, here comes the other Morthoggy. Three, two, one. They're here! And they've begun pillaging! They've arrived! Alrighty then, that answers that question. <laughs> so alright friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful team. They're getting more and more complex. I think they're also getting, nope, still 40. So they're getting more and more complex as the Morthoggy continue to descend upon the land. I am absolutely adoring this. I kind of am hoping that AM Wild Touched I might make her a little riskier than usual because having that ability of star heart, I wonder if she might become part star person if anything happens to her. And I wonder if she'd be willing to sacrifice herself in some way to trigger that star heart magic to emerge. 
very exciting. But all right, if you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful new star touched. I wonder, can we change her name? Because I feel like AIM would actually, I feel like she would actually change her name now. Yeah, and in fact, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna name her Star Touched instead. Because now she, you know, she's totally like covered with stars, which is really cool. Uh, but all right, so leave a like for AIM Star Touched if you could. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.